This is how you do ghost zoom on CapCut. So uh, this is your clip and your audio. So you basically find where you want to do the ghost zoom. Which is like right here. So you split your clip and then you like, just copy and they're like split into their small clip mint. And then you copy, duplicate the, uh, you duplicate the layer and then you overlay it. All right, now you click on this layer of overlay and you click splice down here. And then you lower your opacity to like around 33. And then you click, so you see like, you know, you have this like, it is like ghost zoom layer. So now you want to like, Shorten your like layer uh duration to zero point seven, like right before like right after the zero point eight disappear, you want to do zero point seven like right there. Okay, now you keyframe the start and the end of the thing, and then just like zoom it in, and then like. You fade the layer out like that. Make sure like you're feeling like zero point four ish. And then if you want like faster or like more, just zoom it out more. And if you really want, you can like graph it and do um ease out. Or yeah. But then when you do ease out, you can like adjust like. According to your preferences, like doing that and stuff. Like that. And that's basically how you do go through my cap cut. And after you're done, you can just export your clip and you'll be finished. So, um, this is how you do a uh, go zoom on After Effects. So, first of all, you fa get your clip. So you right click on that project place and you click file. So let me just find my clip real quick. The wrong one. Oh uh, yeah, that one. All right, so first you, now you import the audio. And then you just to um, drag both of them to uh, your uh, timeline. I made one of them red to like, know which one is the project. I mean, which one is the uh, main clip. So the blue one is the audio and the red one is the uh, main clip. I just do, I just like to color code it to make it easier to l read. So first you uh, pre-composition your uh, clip and then <coughs> you wanna click that, but then if the bar is too long, you uh, control Z and then you click the second option, adjust con position too. Yeah, like right there, if your a bar exceeds the timeline, you uh you don't have to click the second option called adjust composition. But like if it doesn't exceed, you have to like uh click adjust adjust composition. So, um now you see I did the second option and the uh, the option below it. So now you click okay. So now the um layer is um Precomposed. Th it basically means just putting everything together, like making a new clip with what you have. So uh, now you take the clip, you find where the um audio is, like where the beat drops, for where you want the go zoom to happen, and then you click a marker on it. You place a marker, and then you cl uh, you can cut the audio right there actually, or like you j you want to shorten the front of the clip if it's too long. I should have done it for you because I didn't want it to be too long. I didn't need that first part of the long audio. I'm, I'm just showing an example of how the ghost humor. Yeah, you see? So that's your layer right now. And then the um, you duplicate the file. So you duplicate the layer right now. And then you click um, T, S, and T on your keyboard while holding your shift together. So you click S and then hold shift and then click T. So now you have the option scale and opacity. So now on that beat drop, you make a keyframe for scale and opacity, and then um, you put you put your like 
uh, opacity to around 50%, and then um, <coughs> you like move the um, like that blue line where it indicates which frame you're at um, around like tw 20, no, 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 around 40, uh, around 45 uh, frames, uh, uh, around 45 frames to the right, and then you make another uh, new keyframe for the scale and zoom it in. And then you also uh, change the opacity for the clip to zero on that uh, keyframe. So now you have the um, two sets of keyframe on the left and right side. And that is around the spam of 45 clip of uh, 45 frames. But one more one thing to know, if you're using um if you're using something like 30 FPS, don't do 45. I did 45 because I'm on uh 60 frames a second. But if you're on 30 frames a second, do like 20. So um now you want to adjust your op op opacity to start decreasing in the middle, like before the middle. So, like, you want to uh, make another keyframe for 50 in the middle. Like, just like what I did there. And then, if you think your scale up is a little too little, like, it's not enough or it's too slow, you can go to the second keyframe for the scale up and adjust it or, like, make it uh, bigger. And then, after that, you can even also add a graph to it by uh, selecting the keyframe and clicking that um, icon on the top. And then you click R9 to uh, make it easy ease and then you can like change so um, to learn what keyframe is it's basically the speed so the higher the bar like the higher the bar is the faster it goes so like if your line is like an arch it's basically like slowly going for a little bit and then suddenly fast and then you hit where you're supposed to like make it Okay, so now I'm going to uh, make a new solid color, but this is optional, only if you want a flash to the thing. So now you cl uh, make the opacity to like 50-ish, and then you right-click the layer, click a uh, blending mode, and then click overlay on the third uh, section. Oh, no, overlay on the fourth, se uh, fourth section, uh, right there. So then you keyframe the opacity. I mean, you like yeah, but you cut you cut the second layer off first, and then you um keyframe the opacity, and then you go around a twenty frames forward. Again, I'm using sixty frames, so if you're on thirty frames, only do ten frames. So whatever I say in frames, you have to divide by two if you're using thirty frames. So keep it at a uh, twenty if you're on sixty frames. Anyways, so now I uh, made another keyframe on after twenty frames. And you can see right here, I'm gonna like uh put that like right there um after the first one at like 20 frames, and then like you see that see my frame rate is 60, so that needs to be like adjusted if you're using another frame rate. So basically, whatever I say, you divide by two if you're using 30, or times two if you're using 120. But the best one should be 30, because, like, usually the Roblox recorders is 30. And it doesn't really ch make any changes if you do 60, but I just prefer 60. So now, you see, there's, like, this little glowy, flashy thing for the ghost zoom. Which makes it, like, honestly better, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah. That's how you do ghost zoom on After Effects.